like any high schooler, once you graduate high school, you don't know what you're going to do, what you want to study, and basically any job you want to apply for, you have to have experience. What we're really focusing on is, is really building a, a wide and robust pipeline of folks that are interested in careers in education and linking them up with opportunities to gain experience, to work with school site teachers and administrators, to get a feeling for the, the culture of the school. And then as they enter the credential program, they've got those relationships. They know the climate and the culture of the school, the students, and they know what they're getting themselves into. I was out in one of the middle schools here in Madera and just helping out my sister's cross country team. And the athletic director there, who was that one teacher who impacted me, um, he was there and he told me that, you know, that he had a perfect job that would fit for me. You know, if I was doing anything and I said, no, I'm currently working in the fields. Are you going to college? No, I'm currently not going to college. Oh, why not? Oh, because, I really don't know what I want to do. And then he said, well, I have a job that sure beats the fields and I think you'd be perfect for it. I, I just got hired and I have these group of kids and these kids are, oh my gosh, they're crazy. I've never worked with kids in my life. I don't know what to do. I was completely lost. But as the time went by, you know, I was able to realize that my job was more than a job and it was actually like, it was so impactful. It was very, it was a powerful thing. I think the biggest thing was how to manage a classroom. I now know how to do that thanks to teaching fellows. I thought that was so cool. Um, learning the important things that you might not learn in school, such as how to build relationships with students and things like that. Teaching fellows gave me the opportunity to work with all grade levels. I worked from kindergartners all the way up until eighth graders. And from there, I knew that for me personally, I enjoy teaching the smaller ones the most. They, they're all great, but the, the younger ones were where I, I felt a special connection. And we know that so many of students that are coming through our higher education system are first generation college students. And some of those structural barriers make it very difficult for them to, to be able to to get through college and make it into credential programs. So I myself even went to the fields and worked, you know, and I think it's an awesome opportunity for also these parents to see, you know, that there's more for even for their kids, you know, because I will get parents that even say like, oh, like, how did you, how were you able to apply or how did you start working for the school? Because for a Mexican household or a Mexican family to see that, you know, their child is working in a school setting, it's already something big for them, you know? So I could definitely say that I relate to that and stuff. And it is an opportunity for everybody to do it, you know, because like I said, when I was younger, I was seen as a, as a kid, as a troubled kid who was never going to get to go far in life, you know, to, to do anything great. And I myself didn't believe that I could do anything great, you know, but being here, working with teaching fellows, working with kids and seeing the impact that I was making, I was able to see of what I'm capable of, you know, and I love that. When I was applying to my residency program to get my credentials, my life coach called me and she did a mock interview for me and just they really helped prepare me prepare me in different parts of my life and yes I don't know I, I, I get a little teary sometimes just thinking like how much they actually care and really supported me.